Hey everyone, it's Jennifer here, and I was thinking about the correlation between clothing and emotions, and started researching it, and there is an absolute scientific correlation. In fact, there's a great quote here um, in terms of, emotions play such a significant role in our clothing choices. Often it's not the clothing, but the feeling we have around the clothes, and this comes from a study in Northwestern University. So I thought about all our Zooms and FaceTiming and use of social media right now through video and how can we prepare ourselves to feel a little bit more uplifted and confident in our social media practices right now in terms of our clothing. So I'm reaching out to my dear friend who changed my life, I'm gonna share that story, in terms of my own confidence level in clothing. Jordan Stewart. She is a fashion designer that's taken Canada by storm. She is the owner of RVNG Couture and she's going to share her insights. Stay tuned. So everyone, let's welcome Jordan, my dear friend Jordan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, I thought you were the perfect person to talk about how we can prepare ourselves for these connections now, these new level of connections through Zoom, Google Hangout, FaceTime. And as I shared with you off camera, like I'm literally living out of a suitcase right now. So my clothing choices are limited. But what fascinates me, Jordan, is there is an absolute correlation between clothing and emotions and getting ourselves prepared. So what are your right. thoughts on that? So first, I kind of want to get back to the traditional um, concept for me, for when I'm, when I'm designing and creating for that woman, I'm always thinking, how does she want to feel? Who does she want to translate? So what we wear, in my opinion, it's our cover letter to present how we're feeling, who we are, who we want to be. Mm -hmm. And so, so now in this really big spot of social disorganization, where we're not feeling the greatest necessarily, we're confused as to what's next, what's coming. And so I go back to the idea that if you're wearing something out, you're getting dressed, you have a night out for a dinner or a soiree of any sort, you feel a certain pep when you put on that look that, that you've created for who you are that night. So essentially what we have to do is almost force ourselves to get our mindsets into thinking, who am I, who am I presenting? What's the new normal? Because right. you're still having interactions on Zoom, on these, you know, Google chats. So we don't want to let go per se. Um, and you feel better. You feel more pep. You feel like yourself when you kind of put your uniform, your day uniform back on. So I think what's important just to, you know, is that we, we connect with how we're feeling and we do the best we can to put something on that um, can push us forward properly. I love that. And you hit upon a couple of things. We've kind of lost our routine. And normally most people kind of plan their wardrobes towards like look at their calendar and there's a planning process that occurs based on your, your routine and your schedule. Right. And to your point that the schedule's kind of gone off the rails at the moment for, for many of us, but that we want to adapt that habit again of creating that space, that thought process about what we wear. Because what you think about, you bring about. What you wear about, you bring about uh, right. in, in terms of your emotions. And I love, I wanted to share the story that I promised that you have such a gift for translating women into body confidence. And you know, my whole brand is about body confidence and I never felt so beautiful than last year when you styled me for the Oscars and yes. I, oh my God, That's ever, so like it was just my Cinderella moment. You have a gift. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. That was, that's really sweet. I appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, you, you do. And I love like you're wearing red today and let's talk about the psychology of color because there is colors and there are psychology emotions attached to to the color so you're wearing red i'm wearing red um i dressed up for our chat today i love because it because i want to feel good i want to feel fresh and it's a bold bright uh, happy color and i think it's not a color that we're wearing a lot of right now but why not right yes. So, I mean, even you're putting a little red lipstick on, wearing a red outfit, it just, um, it kind of ignites a little more fire in me. 
and it shows you look beautiful you look like you're in control and but not too much in control whereas black can be a color of psychologically distancing people but also authority um, in color psychology and purple is creativity Yes. softer colors and textures like mine. And again, I'm limited living out of suitcase folks that I wasn't planning to live out of for as long as I am. Uh, but this is like the epitome of Jen because it is just a cozy sweater texture of like being approachable. <laughs> I also think though, just to add to that is that we can reinvent our cozies to look cute. Like, ah but wear a cute, cozy outfit. It doesn't have to be necessarily a structured um, look. I think that if you're doing a corporate environment on your computer from home, it's still important to bring that corporate feel. But with your friends and with your community, why not show a very real look just done up? I love that. That's such a great idea. So what would be your top three tips or top tips for someone right now that's looking in their closet going, ugh, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, so the first thing is, I think hit the, we're in spring. Spring is coming, the weather's lightening up on us. And I think that one thing we all tend to do is shopping, right? So we tend to go online shopping or we're going into stores and we're reinventing our wardrobes. And I'm gonna say, don't stop doing that. Um, and ask yourself the appropriate question. So you're gonna wanna edit your closet and create your spring wardrobe. And that's gonna, right off the hop, that's gonna make you feel fresher. It's gonna make you feel like getting dressed, saying, okay, I've organized these outfits that are comfortable, they're cute, and they're fresh. I urge you to find some color just because there is a big correlation between feeling better, feeling peppier, and wearing color. But not to mention, those who see you, you're inspiring, right? Ah, oh, yes. So, Right, so that's, um, so my first thing is edit your wardrobe and set up like it's spring, you know? So get, you know, put away some of those sweaters, keep a couple, cause we're not totally out of the, the coldness yet. But, um, so edit, first of all. Then push yourself to get dressed. Make sure that you're going that extra step to put that outfit on. And every day give yourself a little bit of, you know, push. Cause it's hard, it's hard to say, okay, I'm not going anywhere. No one's looking. Um, but again, you're going to feel better every time you take care of you. So it's not so much the act of wearing the clothing as much as it is taking care of yourself. Excellent. And what we wear is our, it, it translates to emotion. And so again, just reiterating how we feel and what we're projecting for others to feel. And we're in it like a team. We need to all work together this way. So I think that that's my second tip. And my third tip would be color. Just, just play with color. Um, make sure that you're putting as much as possible into your wardrobe. And that could be an accessory. It doesn't have to be, you know, an outfit. A lot of us wear buy black because it's so easy. And, you know, even spring, summer black, still very cool. But try and use something a little extra. I do something funny and it's, it's not necessarily wardrobe, but I, I tend, I get dressed and I get ready. And then, you know, I'm home, I'm alone, I'm a mom, but I'm here by myself and I will squirt my perfume and I, I giggle because I'm like, <laughs> it's just for me, you know? And so do those things that are just for you. And I think that that's really gonna, you know, help your mind frame. Oh. The other big tips that I have just to add to everything that we've said so far is that you, and I've seen this, you can wear a shirt, like a nice, fresh, clean cut shirt, dress shirt, blouse, and no one knows what you're wearing down below. So you could be wearing your sweatpants, you could be wearing whatever, or nothing. I encourage you to wear something. <laughs> you can see, you know, what's below the screen. So, but again, be careful. Another reason to get dressed is because I have seen a share on Facebook where um, there was a wife giving a FaceTime, a very corporate styled boardroom meeting, and her husband walked in just his underwear. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So, yes. I mean, it was one of those funny, <laughs> funny moments, but at the same time, I'm sure she was mortified. But again, a good reason to be dressed and a good reason to, you know, you never know what you're going to walk into with how the like social media has us connected now. So 
And those are such great points because I love the fact that you were bringing up like what you've seen. And then I have seen the research behind that sharing that online shopping right now, tops are selling two to one to pants. Ah, ex exactly. Because they're so much more necessary. <laughs> So, but maybe we want to, like, do you feel that, okay, do we stay in the cozy pants with the pretty top or do you feel like we do take it a step forward? You think it's good? Go for it, yeah. <laughs> I, you've heard for the best. You've heard from Jordan, beautiful designer, styles everyone on the red carpet. Get that beautiful spring top on and run with it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you, George. Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Oh, tips. As always, you just bring the best always always and i just so appreciate it and adore you and where can people find you on social media so rvng couture on instagram and rvng.com uh, on the internet and i'm on facebook as well so i mean just rvng couture you can find Excellent. us on all the platforms oh, thank you oh go ahead you told me to because you oh, yay yay <laughs> see this is all about that synergy exchange i love it i love it well Thank you so much. I've got to go online shopping, people. Jordan told me to do so. <laughs> I love it. Stay safe. I so appreciate your tips and be well. Thank you.